Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the real talk. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe and uh, thank you very much for joining us and today with me I have Aya. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the invitation and for having me back on the channel. Of course, uh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> and today we will be talking about vulnerability. Uh before you go away or you think this is not relevant, I just want everyone to t- take a sit back think about what's going on around us and it's so important to understand what's going on in here and here and all of us all of you as an individual mm-hmm. because the world is a reflection of who we are so if we do not change or if we do not understand ourselves then how then are we going to influence or change anything around us uh, in this world So that's why we need to understand things like vulnerability and if we do not understand vulnerability then how else will we be allow people to be vulnerable towards us or 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 be there for them when they're vulnerable so we need to be we need to understand what vulnerability is how we can practice it and then in the end we can all be open and comfortable being vulnerable around each other mm-hmm. so what is vulnerability so eh yeah, what do you understand by the term vulnerability because i'm sure there's people out there who might have an idea but not know exactly what vulnerability is or what it means well to me i think being vulnerable is completely opening up to others and allowing yourself to be seen and even sometimes taking the risk of getting hurt but at the same time surrendering completely to the outcome of you opening up to others in the sense that you do not like wonder or expect a particular outcome you do not necessarily even care whether it will be positive or negative it's just opening and giving uh, opening yourself up completely and giving away to others and i think it takes a lot of courage to do it no 100% and that's the most that's the important part of it isn't it courage um yeah i agree with your definition and i i completely resonate with your thoughts because being vulnerable is about opening up right mm-hmm. it's it's about op- for me that's the biggest thing so opening up takes courage and since now we've defined vulnerability i need to, i want to talk about the misconception because we speak about courage but in our societies or or like growing up vulnerability is seen as a weakness which is completely contradictory to what it actually means mm-hmm. uh when you th- when we think about vulnerability a lot of people will the first thing will be like oh you you you're being weak or you're being uh you're showing signs of weakness basically yeah. but it's the complete opposite because it takes so much guts so much courage to be in that position to allow yourself to open and be vulnerable to someone and we need to break that con- uh, misconception because um especially um in men uh we've seen over the years over the generations we were taught as young men to be strong and not mm-hmm. to open up not to discuss your feelings uh you keep it bottled inside and you know because you're a man you need to be strong you need to be the leader of your family but how can you lead as a man if you're not open to understanding and listening and being allowing yourself to be vulnerable around people that's why we have so many issues in around the world look at our leaders they th- a good leader needs to understand all these things that we discuss on the channel uh, we've we've spoken about so many things already and if your leader or your head or whoever leads the family and most of them are men uh, which i actually don't think it should be a balance and maybe even women i i agree with women being leaders <laughs> and i'm not just saying that you're here but uh, because if you understand vulnerability and you open yourself to being vulnerable mm. then you understand your people and the, the people you're leading and if mm. you're open to, uh, to vulnerability and open uh for them to come in and be vulnerable that is one of the main for me great signs of leadership so this whole as a con- concept of men can't be vulnerable for me it's absolute excuse my language bullshit because it 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 takes you back it holds you back it doesn't allow you to grow and evolve as a person 
Um, what do you have any thoughts on that? Uh, what do you think on, on that whole notion of men cannot be, or or men cannot be vulnerable to sign of weakness? Well, I totally agree with you. Um, vulnerability takes a lot of courage, as we said, to 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 be exercised at least, or to be to be put in place. And as you've mentioned, men have been brought up in a way that this vulnerability has been um, toned down in them or some, sometimes suppressed. At least I've been, um, I grew up in, in an environment where it was shameful even. There was a lot of shame for men to be, to, to show as being vulnerable. And, um, and on a general note, I think many persons in this world, men or women, or regardless of their sex or uh, sexual identification, they are very afraid of being vulnerable. And I think that's the main stop or blockage towards it, is the fear that we have of being hurt. Because what does it mean at the end of the day, being vulnerable is letting people in, letting people see you, see your emotions, see your feelings, see you being hurt or, or happy. And we are afraid in this world, at least or today, to show who we truly are because we want to be accepted at least or to fit in or to belong to a certain group. And I think in this case, uh, the video that uh, we have on the channel on the fear culture would be very relevant yes. for anyone experiencing any fears around vulnerability. So please uh, check out the channel, uh, the video on uh, fear culture. We'll put the link in the description of the video. So yeah, that, that's a very relevant point when it comes to vulnerability. It goes hand in hand with fear. Uh, now that we've spoken of about the misconceptions of vulnerability why then do you think it's so important to be vulnerable or to allow yourself to be vulnerable so one of the importance i think of vulnerability and the advantages of it or, or and practicing it in our lives is that vulnerability allows us to express our emotions on the spot and immediately and not allowing them to to you know pile up inside and just ignore them because when you express your emotions, when you allow yourself to be at least vulnerable around the per persons you love and you care most about, um, you free yourself from those emotions you are feeling, whether it is sadness or grief or anger or disappointment. And once you free yourself, once you put out your emotions out there, you take control over that situation and you do not let those feelings control you because if we take a look at the world today and how it is uh, how it is run we can clearly see that people are run by their emotions you can see that people are snapping at each other or being more and more passive aggressive yeah. towards yeah. each other mm -hmm. and i think it's just um repressed emotions that they have not allowed themselves to, to, to express before. So they come out at the time when you don't want them to. What, what I mean is like, like you said, you repress emotions mm -hmm. and then it just builds up and builds up and builds up and then it bursts out in, in a situation where it's not even meant to be coming out. Yes. and, it, a, and it Or you take it out on someone else or who so, who, exactly. and they don't deserve that because that's your issue that you haven't dealt with and now you are putting it on someone else which is completely unfair and, so, and yeah. yeah i totally agree with you and i see it in in two situations it either comes out in a different situation where it wasn't meant to come out or it comes or, or your repressed emotions would come out in a situation with the same person that has caused them but in a very unhealthy way so instead of me coming to you, for example, and telling you that something has been bothering me, I could get, you know, more passive aggressive and leaving comments here and there. And that would create tension and arguments eventually. Yes. So I think that's at least being more vulnerable in our relationships, whether friendships, whether love relationships, love relationships, sorry, would at least to, to the least improve our communications and our honesty towards each other and i think in on the long run it would just free us and would 
allow us to be more peaceful at least and have healthier relationships. No, 100% agreed. Um, so you can see there are there's a lot of positives from practicing vulnerability and understanding it. So now that we've spoken about all these things, how then I'm sure there will be people out there and you can leave a comment below. Let us know how you practice vulnerability or even your experiences. And if you want to come on the show, then that you're more than welcome to come on and express yourself and we can have a further discussion. Uh, but now going back to practicing vulnerability how then what tips can we give our viewers about practicing vulnerability well i think the first thing to start with is to identify a person that is trustworthy i think that is the most important thing about vulnerability because today if we do not practice it is because we've all had bad experiences of opening up in the past, I'm sure yep. that you've trust. We've all trusted the wrong person at least once in our lives, and our secret or or our story got out without our full consent. So I think it's very important to identify this point when we are talking about vulnerabilities that we need to be vulnerable around the people who deserve it, and whom we know are trustworthy in yeah. order to be to have a safe space let's say safety net and once we have identified this particular person i would say the next step would be to identify a particular situation where we have not allowed ourselves to be vulnerable or a few as a view where you have not allowed yourself to be vulnerable let's say your best friend or your mother has come to you maybe and asked you whether you were feeling okay or not and you were not very completely truthful about your emotions so once you have identified the trustworthy person and then the situation where you were not completely vulnerable the next step would be either to go straight to this person and try to tell them at least how you actually felt when they asked you about it or if you do not have the courage yet to do it maybe work more on building your courage to to go and rectify that situation with that uh, with that trustworthy person and uh, and yeah i think that would be a good exercise to practice vulnerability today yeah thank you that that's a really good uh good good some good points made uh, on how to practice vulnerability and like i mentioned if you out there have something else you practice or you can share with uh, other viewers please leave a comment below because like I said, it's all about building each other up, helping each other out. This is all what this channel is about. Um, and if you want to come on and have your say, you're more than welcome to do so. We will live, leave the, uh, the information in the description. So get in touch with us and yeah, and we will get back to you. So any last words on vulnerability? So yes, my last points on vulnerability would be a quote actually from Brene Brown, who is a very world-renowned researcher on the subjects of vulnerability and shame. And uh, I think the safest and the best way at least to approach vulnerability would be, as she said, with a soft front, a strong back and a wild heart. And on that, um, I think, yeah. I leave you guys. Yeah, that that's quote, that's a brilliant on. that's a brilliant quote, and she also has a lot of um, talks on YouTube. So if you like me are not into reading, then you can also go check out her videos. Uh, it's very very insightful, and uh, you can learn a lot. Um, so thank you everyone for joining us and being with us, and please uh, leave a comment, like the video, share it with your family and friends and subscribe and get in touch with us the links will be in the description and yeah take care everyone and hope to see you soon bye bye